Hello and welcome. In this video, we will take a look at managing the garbage we produce. Introduction to Waste and Garbage Garbage or waste refers to the unwanted and unusable materials which are discarded after their primary use. Garbage is a term used more about the domesticated waste discarded by humans. Garbage or wastes are classified into different types based on different factors, which include the sources producing them, the final treatment methods, the composition it comprises of, and also the environment in which it is produced, such as industrial, domestic, agricultural, etc. Various Basic Waste Management Principles and Ideas Waste Hierarchy One of the most important and fundamental waste management principles is the waste hierarchy. Waste hierarchy refers to the framework of segregating or classifying waste into types such as waste which can be prevented, reduced, material reuse from the waste products, and recyclable and compostable wastes, energy recovery, and finally landfill disposal in the same order as listed. Product life cycle and reducing environment impact the product design and life cycle follows through the waste product usage to the waste treatment through the waste hierarchy and products designed shall be improved to adapt to the management techniques and also reducing the environmental impact in its treatment after its extraction for primary use and further uses prior to and after its treatment. Elaborating on the waste hierarchy order, there are processes such as composting, pyrolysis, gasification, anaerobic digestion, including other biological reprocessing methods, etc., which fall under material reuse and resource recovery, waste energy. Also, there exists the process of recycling products through waste collection, sorting, and production. The disposal methods include landfill disposal and incineration. For liquid wastes, there exist several treatment methods, one of which is the sewage sludge treatment process. Present Situation, Possible Solutions, and Conclusion Humanity now produces more than what the environment can replenish in a large scale and this poses high risk for ecological imbalance and acts as a huge barrier for the sustainable development which the world needs to balance between the needs of humans and ecological well-being. Still, there exist various pro problems such as manual waste treatment, improper handling of waste which can pose irreparable consequences to human life and the environment in a bigger picture. Hence, necessary methods shall be practiced and exercised and governments shall push the right policies for a sustainable future to the environment and humanity as a whole. Thank you.